Oddball. Play ball. The Halo Mega Constructs Helmets. A fan favorite idea revisited in a brand new way. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. Look at this thing. Wow. First of all, a yellow helmet with a black visor. What an epic choice. Welcome, friends, near and far to the first episode of our Trilogy of Helmets series. We're going to be opening these every single day, back to back, until we're finished. And I just had to get started. I, I thought about doing the green one first. I saw Demarcation Media did an amazing review of that, and you should check out that right now. I, I just, I had to get hold of the strange one first, because this is, this is kind of the anomaly, right? Like, it would make sense that we got a green, red, and blue helmet. But here we are, not only a yellow helmet, but a black visor. I just had to rip this one open first, especially the fact that it's a skull control. So I just, uh, this had to be the first one. Guys, I you, you must understand. It looks amazing. So we've got this little skull control area, especially the theme of this set. We actually have an oddball themed Mega Constructs toy. That's so cool. You even get yourself a little oddball, which I'm very excited to get my hands on. Without further ado, let's begin the first of this trilogy of videos and let's open this skull. I don't think that's the way you meant to do it, guys. <laughs> All right. Now, the first thing I thought when I took this out of the box was these helmets are small. And I've seen a few people react like that on Reddit, just really surprised by the size. And so am I, because any long-standing Mega Constructs fan will know that this is not the first time we've got helmets before. We used to have a great run of helmets back in the day where you could build micro vehicles. They were so much fun. I'll put a few images on the screen. If you can try and find them, try and get hold of them. Like, they are so much fun. All right, there we go. Some nice product packaging. An enormous leaflet, but what are you gonna do? Let's build up these figures. This is also two very legendary action figures we've got here today. This blue and silver Spartan Anubis. What a interesting choice. This whole set reeks of like interesting design choices from Mega Construct. First of all, you're gonna bring back the helmets, add Oddball, and then you're gonna bring in this epic Anubis skin in such strange colors. I mean, like I say all these things, I'm not opposed to this at all. I think it's an amazing choice, all of these things. And and I also could not be more delighted that we are on hashtag the race to 30k. We're going to be on 30k subscribers, I think, within the next few weeks, which is uh, I'm, I'm ecstatic about. It's a childhood dream, you know. I've actually I've been filled with so much optimism for the channel the last week. Like the world's our oyster. Like we can go in any direction with uh, with all of our content. And I also I released the Marine Platoon Pack video. I think it will have been yesterday now. The day before I released a. Uh, what would you say, a controversial video where I destroyed my <laughs> my diorama we built on a live stream for four hours. I mean, it was a funny video. I, I really enjoyed it. All right, here we go. We've got our two figures, the Spartan Anubis and the Spartan Mark Seven. So as is the way with these pop and swap armors, nothing is actually very, nothing is very certain. Like we don't know what armors all of these belong to technically. Here's the Anubis from two different sets. As you can see, they have very different armors, particularly the chests. And then this Anubis actually has the same armor as the Mark Seven. So I don't know what's going on. And then alternatively, here's two Mark Sevens and they look even more different. I mean. I guess they look similar. They've got the same shoulders, but definitely not the same chest. So these things vary, but honestly, that's how it should be. I want it all varied. I want as much variety as possible here. You guys know the thing I'm going to be looking for first here. I want to find my oddball. Where is it? Wow. Even with like a little blue ring as well. That's a lot of fun. I wonder how you hold it. Let's get those instructions for this massive build. I don't know guys, this might be a this might be an all-nighter. The old Mega Construct sets were like kind of standalone with the base, but this one already tries to incorporate it. You can see there's like a grid there where you can lock this in, like so. And then hey ho! That's a little diorama, baby. You know, you know, we at the SS Motion and the Domain, we love our dioramas. Let's get all these pieces on. Oddball of all game types, you know. I can't really say that I've spent that much time playing Oddball. I am now realizing that it looks like there's a stud missing. Another piece to the rescue. This is a different color, but I definitely don't think you'll be able to see. It was actually one time I watched back through the footage and I could see the piece fly off into oblivion. So it definitely happens. All right, so we got some kind of like little guardrail here. That's fun. 
one. The whole way that the helmet is incorporated into the set is very nice. It's very creative. Why have them as separate things? All right, that's cool. Very cool. And then we got this little ring. All right, I'm a big fan. I'm always a big fan. <laughs> if, you've, if you've been able to tell before, I'm a bit of a fanboy for Mega Constructs. Now we got it under control, boys. Okay, a little whatever this is. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. Then the skull inserts into this tiny little piece and hey presto, the skull is ready to be captured. Let's switch up the lenses and take a closer look at this. Da, 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 da. Feel Halo course through your veins, my friends. This is straight out of multiplayer Halo. I think if any loyal fan was to be asked a question about my channel, particularly what does the domain want in new sets, I would always say, I think it's a little strange that Mega Constructs is based on this game, yet they don't really utilize that uh, when it comes to campaign or multiplayer missions. It feels like the two separate entities. So I've always loved things like my all-time favorite set is probably Assault on High Ground, in terms of just being so loyal to, to where they came from. This one as well. This is really nice. The figures, they don't have, or certainly this one doesn't have changeable limbs. And it's actually got the same issue I've mentioned before where the color of the helmet is slightly different to the undersuit, which is not a problem. It's not a problem at all, but that's, uh, that's definitely something I'm noticing. And then we've also got the Anubis. Wow, I cannot wait to play as that Anubis in Halo Infinite. I don't know about you guys, but I'm firing that Anubis up straight away. Then this oddball as well is just such a cool little touch. I love the blue ring printed on its head. And you can also see that it's on a bit of a ball joint. So you can actually suspend it in any way that you want, which is a lot of fun. Then this helmet as well. What can we say about this helmet? At first, when I saw the production packaging, I thought it looked too thin. I thought it looked a little squashed down. But in person, I disagree with my prior self. I think it looks perfect. This thing is to die for. I love this set. It's super simple running in at only 62 pieces, but it does the job. You've got an epic helmet to display. You've got this awesome little multiplayer scene. The more I'm looking at it, I'm like, that's just, that's fantastic. And especially these helmets just came out of nowhere. We'd already got the 2020 line and now we've got all this glory. The skull as well is a fantastic touch. It's held in a Spartan's hand a little strangely, kind of like a candle. And it is a tiny bit jarring that it's held like that, but if you position it right, you definitely wouldn't be able to tell. This is straight out of Oddball. This is hopefully exactly what Halo Infinite looks like. Maybe Halo Infinite will be a little more detailed, but even so, the slight details here are excellent. And as an added tiny little bonus, the set also comes with a peg in the back of the torso, and then you can attach the needler comfortably there and have him just holding the ball, ready to smack down his enemies. Haha, <laughs> look at this. Okay, guys, is this a set you're going to pick up? Let me know in the comments below, or do you favor a different helmet as well? This is day one of our trilogy of epic helmet videos, day after day, back to back, leading up to the weekend, where I'll be doing another live stream and gameplay that weekend as well. It's a good time to be with the domain, and an epic time Time to witness the race to 30k subscribers. Thanks very much for tuning in today, and the machine gun from the Anubis is signing off. <laughs>